Hello and welcome to LCTV, Lemoyne College's television station. This is our very first episode of the 2011 year and we are very excited. And what better way to start our show by introducing the LCTV co-president, Sarah. Thank you for joining us today, Sarah. Thanks for having me. Okay. So can you tell our viewers out there what LCTV is? Well, LCTV is a student-run television station, and we want to get as many people involved as we can. We produce our own shows, and we write our own scripts. So anything that you guys want to come up with in the Lemoyne community, we can put on TV. And what would you say is like the future goals and aspirations for LCTV? Well, LCTV wants to produce as many shows as possible this semester, and we want to get as many student organizations involved that we can. So our goals are we got to go to infinity and beyond. <laughs> and what's different about LCTV this year in comparison to other years? Well, this year we are much more organized. We have a plan and we have a schedule. More people are way more likely to join when there's a set schedule and they know when things are. Okay, and what are the, um, the rooms for LCTV? Like, what equipment can you use and where is it? Well, we have, well, all of our rooms are in Riley Hall. We have our video editing lab, which has Final Cut Pro editing equipment and usually a work study to show you how to do those things. And we have this set here in the TV studio, which we have a lot of students involved in production right now. Okay. And what would you tell someone who has no idea what LCTV is? How would you explain it to them? Or why would you, how would you convince them to join? Well, I would say that we have more fun than any other organization. And we love food. <laughs> who doesn't love food? <laughs> and we love to have a good time. So come and hang out. Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming, Sarah. And for those of you watching, if you have any interest whatsoever in joining our LCTV club, feel free to stop on down. And if you also want to get hands-on with the camera, work on your editing skills, or just become a better interviewer, feel free to join us also. Well, as you may be aware, Valentine's Day is this up and coming Monday. So we decided we would take a look around campus and see what everyone's opinions were about Valentine's Day. I think it's a good idea. Um, people should get together even if they're not in love. Valentine's Day, I have class that day. It's a Monday, it's going to be a busy day. I like to spend time with my girlfriend. I love Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day. I don't really know what I feel about it. I mean, I've never been really into it that day, but, you know. Well, I'm always here at work on Valentine's Day, so I tell you. <laughs> well, it's actually a pretty special day. I like Valentine's Day. I don't mind it. Yes, I love Valentine's Day. <laughs> Overall, I think... It's not really a big deal. I mean, if you have a Valentine, you don't. I mean, if, I mean, I have a Valentine right here sometimes. Rob. I'm really excited. I hinted at getting some flowers from him, so I hope I get some flowers. I like chocolate, too, so. How do you feel about Valentine's Day? We'll see. Maybe she'll get something. My wife and I do not celebrate Valentine's Day because we show our love to each other every day. Free candy. I, I'm a fan of chocolate and flowers. And it's really a good day to remind myself to do something nice to say how much I care for her. It's a beautiful thing. It's that I'm always here. <laughs> Nothing really, I like it. It's just something that is really not important to me. It's funny, why? <laughs> it's the pressure that some people have. It comes with snow and really bad weather. More of an action man. <laughs> um, I want to see how many of y'all going to get engaged, how many of y'all going to have gonna get pregnant, because you know that's what the time is for. <laughs> wow. And a fun fact for you, in the Middle Ages, it was often believed that the first person you saw on the morning of Valentine's Day would become your spouse. So everybody watch out when you're going outside of Gruen Hall because you might be seeing your future husband or wife. Do you have beaver fever? We decided to find out if anyone was going to see the Never Say Never premiere this Friday. Are you going to see the Justin Bieber movie this weekend? Yeah. 
Not with me. Yeah? We already, I already got the tickets. He wants to see the midnight showing for it. I, I actually bought tickets ahead of time to get there on time, yes. I am row two right next to Marty. Um, oh. Yeah. Yeah, we set it up ahead of time, yeah. like I said. Fandango is a wonderful thing. Definitely not. <laughs> okay. Uh, probably not. No shot. <laughs> no shot. <laughs> Why not? It's just me who looks like a girl. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I won't be going to that morning, no. no way. <laughs> not a chance. Oh, I got to see that because that's my granddaughter's favorite. Have a great night, Lemoyne, and thank you for joining us for our very first episode of LCTV.